Good morning and grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and from God the Father and the Holy Spirit. It is good to be with you this morning, even though it is virtually and from the comfort of my living room. But I hope you are all being safe and well, and I hope you all know that God is with you in this time and place. So I don't know about you, but I know I'm paying very close attention to the news of the coronavirus as it all unfolds. Who's getting sick? How many people are getting sick? What things are being closed down now? What is the CDC um, asking of us? All of those things. And, and like many of you, probably you, since you're watching this via social media, I know that I take time to uh, look at my phone several times a day, maybe several times an hour, just to see what's happening. And uh, yesterday morning, as I was scrolling through my Twitter feed, um, which is something I do a couple times a day, but I'm scrolling through the Twitter feed and it's coronavirus this, it's, you know, the government has failed us that, it's, you know, all these different things that I'm seeing about the coronavirus. And it just, it feels like this weight coming down and my mind is going in a million different directions. Okay, well, what could I be doing? How am I going to go visit people? Should I go visit people? You know, just things like that. Um, what to do about all this? So my mind's going in a million different directions. And then, you know, so I'm buying into all these fears and things. Fears about lack of resources. Fears about this impending doom. And then, as I'm scrolling through, as I said, in this Twitter feed, it's kind of like a Facebook feed, but, you know, just scrolling through it. And then suddenly these words hit me. And I'm reading them from my computer screen, which is why I'm looking away from you. I just have to find it. These words. The water I shall give will become a spring of water welling up. The water I shall give will become a spring of water welling up. And it came with an image that looks something like this. Oh dear, there we go. So I'll read it again. The water I shall give will become a spring of water welling up. And these are actually the words of Jesus in the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 13 through 14. As I read those words and was invited into his presence, it was only then that I realized how anxious and distracted I was. Yes, of course, it's necessary to be informed and well-prepared and all of that, but I had forgotten the why. I wasn't centered. I wasn't thinking about where is God in all of this chaos. And that verse, and that image brought me right back to center. So that's me. And I want to invite you to consider the same things for yourself. It's very easy to become distracted, to become very fearful and anxious about everything that's going on. So I want you to think about what are the things that center you? What are the things that remind you of God's love? And I want you to take time every day to simply practice it, to go for a walk outside, to play with your pet, to read scripture, to sit in silence, whatever it is that centers you, that reminds you of God's love and God's presence in all of this, please take some time to do that. And the second thing, so I'll bring me up to the image again. So this water that revives your soul, you notice that in this image, the water drips down, but then the ripples extend outward. And I guess that's the second thing that I would like to suggest to you, that you would reach out, you know, as you become centered and reminded of God's love for you and God's love for the world, that you then share that love 
Think about the people that you normally see on a Sunday morning. You weren't able to see them yesterday. Who do you normally see? Who do you normally exchange the peace of Christ with? Maybe reach out to them with a phone call or send them a card. Just some way to connect with people to remind us all of the community that we share, the special beloved community that we share, even though at this moment we're relatively isolated from those communities. So those are the things that I just wanted to remind you of this morning. Again, may the peace of Christ be with you and know that you are loved. Amen.